Welcome back guys, welcome back to Let's Play This Game. It's 25th of November 1941. Victory is near, they say. So close we can taste it. If the British line crumbles, Egypt falls. If Egypt falls, Palestine and Syria will revolt. Our Panzer will reach the Gulf by March. And the vast oil reserves of the Middle East will be ours. We're on the fast track to winning this war, and I can't help wondering what will come afterwards. What will Germany and Europe look like, say, in ten years from now? The Nazis will have to be flushed to start with. The Reich should be governed by soldiers, not bankers or their goons. We need peace with France and England to restrain the Soviets, if they can be restrained at all. We must tell the Italians to stick to the sports cards and let the next Olympics be in London. If I am to compete against Greg Sinclair again, I want all our men to be there to watch. And on cold, staring nights like this, I... well, I desperately want Liz to be there too. Okay, going to the briefing. It's Paper Wrapped Stone. By the way, that's actually the name of the mission. <laughs> <coughs> I never actually read that before, so you can look back and see what exactly the names of the certain missions are. It's, 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 it, it seems they're quite interesting. So yeah, there's like rock, pe rock, beats, say, uh, rock beats paper or scissor or some bullshit like that, but not really. So paper wrap stone. Okay, so uh, let's see. It is November 23rd. The battles of Operation Crusader rage on. Axis forces destroyed the 5th South African Brigade in a 5 day tank battle around Tobruk. November 25th, Rommel attacks the 8th Army from the rear. And as you can see, now we are attacking them from the rear. As you can see, in, from Fort Capuzo, well, near Fort Capuzo, attacking them from behind. And we have a nice battle here. It would seem that the freaking Australians are trying to break from Tobruk in El Duda. And of course the evil Americana and the English bastards are attacking from Gabut and well, well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Our situation is more grave than expected, people. The British have received additional reinforcements. Something we can only dream about. They now have at least twice as many tanks as do the Africa Corps and our Italian allies, if you can call them allies combined. We suffered heavy casualties while containing the British main force heading for Tobruk at Sidi Rezeg. Toten Zontankang won't be forgotten in the, in the fatherland anytime soon. Fortunately, our flag idiots are as effective as ever against enemy armor. Your, your efforts to evacuate the gambit command post and repair shop are going to pay off soon. The rescued panzers will be crucial for your next assignment. You're supposed to straighten our lines to make them less vulnerable. But constant pounding from British heavy artillery keeps hindering troop movement. We must act quickly to get rid of the aggression before our defenses crumble. If they do, we will lose a great deal more than our gripe on Tobruk, I'm afraid. General Oberst Rommel will assume command of all our mobile units to penetrate enemy held territory behind Sidi Rezeg. Faction is going to hit the Tommies where it really hurts by attacking their auxiliary troops and severing their supply lines. Your task is to break through enemy defenses at a better spot and launch an attack on British heavy artillery from behind. Once that's taken care, you're not to commit your forces to further combat action. Try to minimize casualties and return to a friendly territory at once. Even if all goes well, mobile units will be sorely needed in days to come. So let's see, mission 6, morning of 25th November 1948, sunny and hot. Location, border region of Egypt behind enemy lines. Primary objective, take out at least 10 British heavy guns. So I, I guess we're doing a blitzkrieg up on the evil British bastards. Well, that's okay, I guess. <coughs> we'll actually see, I mean, uh, if this is gonna be one of those, again, move fast, fast and furious missions, that's gonna be kind of a problematic, again, I'd prefer to go slow with massive amount of forces, if possible, and, you know, like, take my time. I hope there's no time limit, fuck that shit, you know, I'm, I don't support that crap. Also, I know that I have skipped the freaking Blitzkrieg mode, 
I'm gonna maybe next time I'll, if there is a next time for the Blitzkrieg mode probably as yes, it can't be that it's just one mission like or should I say one time it, it popped up so if there was it, it is at some point I will probably be doing it I just wasn't in a mood to fuck around with Blitzkrieg mode all of a sudden just like with limited amount of supplies and forces and like nothing really survived all that anywho anyway so let's see we have a new special eunuch there it goes it's Reich if I'm not mistaken it's Reich Stug 3 75mm 80 gun special high accuracy let's see the description of these special tanks <coughs> the improved version of Stug 3 G Judge Panzer, I know, of course, you can yeah, call it this Yuck Panzer, but I like just saying Judge Panzer, like Judge Dread. Yeah, anyway, Judge Panzer had reinforced armor plating and uh, and a 7.92 MG32 machine gun that could be mounted on the superstructure. Okay. The machine gun made the tank hunter a serious threat to the enemy infantry. The first units of the series, including the prototype, were transported to North Africa immediately and proved to be a great asset for the Axis troops fighting there. Okay, so it's a good, uh, better stug than the regular stug, and we have the MG34 uh, on it. Sorry, 32. Why I, I, 34, fuck it. Same thing to me, anyway. So anyway, 32, MG, with a beautiful 75mm gun, of course, we'll be taking that, but let's see first and foremost our mission units. We have the 222, yeah, we have those regular tutus, and of course, I'm not taking you, I'm not taking you, I'm not taking you, like, thank you for giving me, okay, so this is gonna be Blitzkrieg, literally Blitzkrieg mission, where you just use heavy, well, panzers to break, break through the enemy lines and sexually arouse yourself, so, yeah, mm, we'll definitely need some repair trucks, but I'm gonna take the best of the best, let's see, we have the 4Ds, and let's see the newest units, first and foremost, the newest, we have the Panzer 3 N version, uh, the Panzer 3N version, 75 mm again, 80 short. God damn it, I hate that. We all. I, the last time I didn't lose two Crusaders, I actually lost. Well, I lost two Crusaders, but when the freaking uh, the freaking Churchill attacked, I lost one Crusader and one of the, in in my Panzer 3 something I believe, or, or Panzer 4D, Panzer 4D actually. Uh, Spencer for D and the freaking Crusader 2 Churchill. Churchill, a 75 mm if I'm not mistaken. It, it would be nice taking one of the Churchill. It's heavy armor, it's beyond belief. But I mean, hell's bells. Okay, so let's see. With the Spencer 4G, we have only one of those. Mind you, that's the one that we have taken from the battlefield uh, last mission. So that's beautiful. Thankfully, I've taken that. For all the losses I have, like, received, yeah. Static 9. 80 millimeter 80 gun that actually would be very beneficial for me but I'm gonna go for Panzer 4 G the Citadel one also Panzer 4 and we'll be taking this new stock I'm gonna take all my special units of course every special unit possible I'll be taking them so Panzer 3 Panzer 2 F's really that Panzer 2 F's really that's what you're giving me get the fuck out of this place asshole Panzer 3 G Mm, no, 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 no. Panzer 4D, no. No, 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 no. Her Hartman will be in Citadel. Like, inside there. Let's see. Uh, mounted units, rifleman. Nope. Thank you. Put him inside. Well, like this. Thank you. Now, of course, Hartman, like the last time, is in Citadel. One. Okay, excellent. Now let's see here. All units. Okay, we have a gun again the airstrike, but it's MP70. Like that's 70 points. We have a oh, maximum of 393 points. This is definitely special. Maybe even if this is a last mission, maybe before the last mission. <coughs> could be. There could be. But I don't believe so. There has to be a little. And there are only two campaigns, I believe, Axis and Allies. So I believe at least like come on, ten minute missions for each would be perfect. I don't know why it would be this so hard to make fucking ten maps for a game. Anyway, let. But that aside, we don't know, so we'll see. Panzer three Gs. Should I get them? Let's see. First and foremost, let's get what I can. The Reich one, yes, and we'll get the Blitz. Excellent. So we all have all special units are here. We only have of course one for per special unit. So that's good. 
Ah, uh, 33 points. I have 24 points. There is no way for this unless I do every single thing. I believe it's just gonna be six points, six prestige points for each mission if you do everything. So there is just like, mmm, I'm gonna cry a little bit, you know, like, mmm, come on. There is no way in hell. But that's okay. That's okay. 33 points. Uh, if I didn't screw up most few missions, like 40. One point that I usually do. I screw up for one fucking point. One prestige point. I always lose. <laughs> so yeah, we would we have but by now. I believe we would have enough to buy uh, to get the taiga. But we can't. So well, what can you do? It seems no infantry at all. No infantry support of, of any kind here. But I have enough points for something else. I was thinking of using the recon or artillery or some crap like that. Uh, but if we're gonna be, if this is gonna be like a blitzkrieg again, just you know, like attack as fast as possible into the enemy lines. I'm a little bit worried that I have no any scouting vehicles. Let's see our scouting vehicles. I do believe we have one of our scouting vehicles. Let's see. Recon vehicles. There you go. 263 that you, we used last time. I would like to use him again. Thank you very much. We have him now. Yes, we do. In that one, we'll... Now, now the thing is, this is the thing. In mounted units, you can really screw them the, like this. Fuck these guys out, right? And put a little bit of a special kind of stuff you want maybe sappers like what was sapper <laughs> now this is the cool thing right this is like if you don't you like if you really don't want to like if I have like, to get more even more points I believe putting them here you just put these guys special units that is inside these vehicles instead of the regular crew instead of the regular riflemen so let's see so we want one of the sappers because they're uh, probably gonna be mass amount of my somewhere maybe but if they do not expect maybe not at all so i'm gonna go scout scout if we put scout inside one of these bigger radius bigger 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 radius <laughs> like that's good also so we'll put maybe another scout maybe or another sapper i'm gonna go with the sapper because i'm a beast thank you very much I like this okay so that's done uh, Pensa Force, uh, so let, yeah, like, Pensa for these, I was not impressed, uh, they are short barreled, not something I like, I'm gonna go, if possible, some better tanks, so let's see, okay, let's see, mm -mm -mm. let's go with everything, uh, again, I was thinking of taking an airstrike, but I don't know how it works, <laughs> I mean, I may call upon them at some point in certain missions, it would be nice to check them out, but if I screw myself, just because they cost 70 points, people. 70 points like look at this a pencil for the cost 31 points like holy shit let's say pencil for a 75 millimeter AT gun I may go with that one yeah yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. I'm a little less damage but it would seem but still a better in terms of armor yeah much better in terms of armor uh, pencil for G is again only one available to it which I did not change did I let me see, Pencil 4D, no, I didn't put Pencil 4G here, uh, okay, Pencil 4G, enter, thank you very much, uh, okay, that's done, oh, I mean, there are a lot of things to choose, and I just don't know what to choose, I mean, Pencil 4Ds or a Crusader that I have, uh, a priest maybe, uh, so I need an artillery piece, I mean, if I want to do it my way, like bomb the cleaving crap out of certain positions, then move in, it would be quite interesting, I mean, I at least do it my way, if nothing else. Yeah, we don't have any of the... Yeah, we lost all the Crusaders because... God damn it. We lost all the Crusaders. Uh, Stuck 3D mm, could get one of those, but he is an SPG. So he's a static gun after all, but... <coughs> Pencer 3Gs, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Pencer 3Gs. Pencer 3Gs compared to Pencer 4DE. Let's see. Let's see this. <coughs> Pencer 4E. Or maybe Pencer 3M. Like, Panzer 3N looks like a beast, it would seem. Yeah, like, 70, oh, the 80 short again. 75 mm 80 short. Mmm, Panzer 3G. Yeah. Like, look at this. Compared to this, so this is Panzer 3G that we have, like, in abundance, it would seem here. And this is a Panzer 3N. Panzer 3G, Panzer 3N. Yeah, Panzer 3N is definitely the better of all. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Pencil 4D. Yeah. The range is not the greatest, though. But it, it, it also, it's not in a G. D has the better range than the, than the rest of them. Well, okay, we're gonna go with instead of Pencil 3Gs. Screw Pencil 3Gs. Fuck you. 
And we're gonna go with pencil three J's. They say J's or N's. Uh, now I'm done lost. Pencil three G, pencil. Okay, pencil three N. I can do pencil three N. Put some of those pencil four D's. Should I go even leave pencil four D's? Pencil four E or pencil four D? Um, let's see. Well, damage is the same. Uh, armor on pencil four D compared again. A pencil four E is definitely has better armor. So, yeah, I'm gonna go offensive for E. These out, thank you very much. I'm gonna go with pencil for E's because they are sexy, like a beast. I here at least. Airstrike, there is no way I don't have enough points for that. So, yeah, I'm not gonna waste an airstrike. We're better waste on something that is good, that is strong, that has a long motherfucking range, maybe. A static, a static 90mm or 80 gun. We have enough repair crew for all this. We have the Okay, two of these SDK FZs repair trucks, and we have uh, Blitz, of course, but I can't rely only on one, so yeah, that's why I'm gonna have to at least leave all these three like this. We have the right, we have those special units with a pencil 3 ends, pencil 4 E's, and pencil 4 G. How many points left? I don't know if I should utilize an infantry at all. I mean, Hell's Bells. Hell's motherfucking bells. I do want more of these. So let me see. Let me see. Mounted units. Yeah, I put mounted units in him. I have my blitz. Yeah, I can put some scouts inside. I'm gonna put some scouts inside. Two scouts and a... I want a sniper. I want a motherfucking sniper. Sniper is a beast. So I'm gonna take a sniper. Do I have a sniper? Five snipers. Uh, okay, let's see how that's gonna go. <laughs> So let's see, 57 points, still a lot of points. I guess we're gonna go for more better tanks like stuff. Maybe get one of those SPG guns. Uh, let's see, yeah, the SPG get the, this Semovite Blue, whatever name is. 22 points, but again, again, unable to match Allied armor in battle. The Italians tried feeling a variety of self-propelled anti-tank units, thus creating this bastard. The main weapon was a 90mm anti-aircraft gun positioned towards the rear, which left the crew exposed. Okay, the engine was moved to the front and blah blah blah, okay. Okay, okay, to convert it into a munition carrier, okay, okay. Primary used in North Africa, it failed to make a last contribution to the exit war effort. Okay, I guess it shouldn't be used at all. <laughs> like, but still, it's a 90mm uh, moving turret. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a SPG gun, but it's better than a freaking Stug. Of course, and again, look at like look at the stats. The damage is ridiculous. Okay, okay, maybe not. Actually, the Pack 40, the 75 mm rating gun, has a better damage than the. Uh, yeah, wow. But of course, Pack is Pack is gonna. He's not. He's just a stationary gun, unmovable bastard. But this, you know, I can go with one. I'm gonna go with one and see how that's gonna go. Uh, the rest will of course be maybe another recon. No, we don't need recon. Maybe artillery gun. Finally artillery gun. Maybe we get yeah. Why not an artillery gun? Or we even do we, we have that 75 mm which I do not want to use. We have this one 150 mm gun which I never tried. We enough. Do not not have enough points for that one one point. Right? No, we have enough points. Right? 35 points. This is 30. No, this is 36. I was looking at stuff. <laughs> so 36, like one point missing, guys. It's, I have to blame it on someone. I have to blame it on someone. Mm. I just don't like having a massive amount of tanks if they're gonna die like nobody's bitches. I wanna try to survive as many of them, to, well, to have as many of them into the next missions. Uh, I don't know. This is hard, to be honest. This, this is the hardest part for me in the entire game because who knows what's gonna be the next mission. The, this part where you set up your stuff is the hard, also the longest part for any of my videos. Oh man, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Should I mean artillery? One artillery? Why not? Like I never used the artillery guns except that, that one mission where we with the captured, well not captured, with those 75 or 80 guns, but well, artillery guns. But I would like to try one of these uh, artillery big pieces. 150 mm, guys. 100 motherfucking 50 millimeter gun <laughs> artillery like why even get close to the enemy if I can bomb the living fuck out of the most of them so that's what I'm gonna choose I'm gonna jump one of these guys out of my trucks let's see uh, mounted units let's get one of you riflemen out well actually I don't even need any of you riflemen 
Excellent, thank you. I'm gonna take one of you. Excellent. And that's gonna be it. Let's start the mission finally. So we have bunch of bunch of Panzer for is we have the uh, this Italian gun with 90 mm We have the 150 mm Sig 33, and we have a few repairing vehicles, of course, and all all of our special units. We have the Citadel, we have the Reich Stug 3, and we have the Blitz of 250. It's gonna be sex, people. We have a sniper and a scout. We have, like really, we put huge amount of good stuff. I mean, why do we even need riflemen, right? Why not just put the more useful units inside these specific vehicles, right? And then, well, I mean, that's actually quite better than just putting your regular riflemen, right? Who knows? You may need them. Like, do we even have a medic? We don't even have a medic. So we could get a medic in one of our tanks. Like, instead of this rifleman, right? Let's get a medic. Yeah, there. <laughs> and there you go. That's the perfect. Zero points. Thank you very much. Let's begin the mission. And the lag. Massive lag. Yeah, there you go. One of those bastards. The, those, that's an American tank that is now flying. It's amazing weapon of mastery. Look at this. Do you really believe that I'm going to just penetrate all those positions like a moron? Thankfully, I brought my artillery gun. But there are Churchill tanks. And those are monstrous. They probably also have their own artillery, but without any sight towards us, it's gonna be GG for us. We have scout vehicle with scouts inside. Of course, very valuable. Nobody's shooting down him. Okay, there are the artillery guns. Of course, far behind. Those are one. Okay. So those are uh, Churchill, sorry, Churchill's Priest 105mm guns. Nothing really scary. I have you 150. Have the lives of our Kameraden are at stake. So no fooling around this time. Seek their soft spots, hit them hard and fast, and keep hitting them until the enemy breaks. Understood? It worked in Poland and France. We'll Very make it work again. Here. Let's immediately first and foremost save. It will seem we're being alone here. I was expecting maybe, oh come on, like give me some kind of an, an ally <laughs> in these games. Come on, I would love to have allies some from time to time in these kinds of games. Like, you know, like, go forward, you do your stuff, I'm gonna do my stuff. Ar ten artillery pieces. Well, now you're talking. Okay, first and foremost, our artillery, look at these guys. First, look at them, look at them, they don't give a crap, they know something is up. We have our artillery, SIG-33, 150mm artillery, I hope he's actually useful. I really do. So, there are lines, immediate lines of the enemy in front of us. Like, come on, can this be a bigger joke? Again, I don't have to worry at least about <laughs> the worst thing possible, that is the ammo. Right. So there you go, at least that. Get a little bit close. We have our Copenza 4 g people. Look at him, look at that, look at him. He's sex, he's sex. He tells me he is sex also, but I don't believe it. Uh, okay, so... Uh, yeah, first and foremost, get a little bit close, overlook certain positions. We know where the enemy truly is, so me firing upon these certain, these specific positions will not be bad. I'm gonna position my stug, my, my SPGs a little bit to the sides, just for in case. Hopefully the enemy doesn't rush us at any point. Yeah, the, okay, so they have these also, the 25 pounders, artillery guns, you can see they're bombing the ex these positions, so they have, their range is massive. As long as they don't have view towards it, they won't open fire. Right? So that's epic. That's freaking epic. Let's get a little bit closer. Overlook these positions. A little bit closer. Overlook these positions. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, open fire if possible. Let's tell him to... Yeah, he has a fire as well. I can hope. I can only hope. Yeah. Okay, I mean, 150mm, come on. He has to open fire. Right? He has to open the mother humping fire. Just have to now watch out if the enemy tries to uh, attack us. This guy is gonna get owned. The 25263 that is, is gonna get owned. Okay, there you go. Excellent. Now they're on the move. The infantry, of course, is saying no, we want to attack you because you're a douchebag. Look at that. Look at that epicness! And this is how you actually fucking play this. You don't get inside the enemy, you just do this all day. <laughs> do this for 15 videos. 
slowly but surely break them apart uh, 90 millimeter people just gonna be epic let's see these guys up close there are no guys inside there should be if I remember zig 33s there should be like two guys near them driving there are only like what four guys inside unbelievable nonetheless there's the enemy there's a bunker will blow each slowly but surely of course there's probably what this section like undefended as you can see here uh, barely maybe anything well actually they have everything to be honest I mean, okay this side doesn't have anything but I'm gonna wait a little bit I'm gonna have fun and go through them like not soft spots go through them like a beast with what I have I mean hell's bells right fire 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 uh, do we have a sniper? We have a sniper. I believe I have a sniper. I can blow those fuckers out of those trenches easily. Uh, let me see. W where did I put the sniper? Is the question. Yeah, there you go. Accuracy. You don't need an accuracy. Believe me. Scout and a scout. I may should have gone with more snipers, but that's okay. One sniper and one artillery gun will be able to do something through the entire freaking thing. I believe, guys. I believe. Do you believe? If you don't believe, you can go home right now. Okay, let's see. The range, people. We need the range towards these bastards. They won't be able to retaliate unless they get close. Your units are under attack. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> he, he was like oh, already dead. Like in the trenches were probably some snipers of their own. But yeah. Yeah, there goes our only sniper. <laughs> like okay, it's okay. It was this wasn't meant for him, that's for sure. But that uh, that was awful. <laughs> that was freaking awful. I'm gonna get at least him a little bit closer to oversee a little a little bit more. We I mean we know what these positions truly are, but I'm worried a little bit that maybe there are bigger guns in these positions. Wherever there are freaking crates, there are guns. And wherever there are guns, there are people. And you can see these bastards. Yes, almost a side towards him. And almost a side towards my 263. So that's why we want to blow the living fuck out of those bastards. Can we have 90mm. Maybe the 90mm can shoot the living crap also. Yes, he is. No, get too close, man. Come on. No, you don't. You want to get too close to the enemy. That's not how I want to play it. Let's see the stug. The stug is a weapon, how should I say, that is supposed to overlook most of things. Let's get these scouts to the left here to overlook that left position that we not get engaged by the enemy. Stug is for this sieging stuff. But yeah but not now but not now okay let's hide our scout over here hopefully he doesn't again we don't have big big guns like we don't have a 88 well we have this 90 millimeter but as you can see he also needs to get a little bit overly too close to the enemy position and this could take a while yeah this could take a while though Okay, we'll leave these trenches behind for now. Let's target these uh, certain positions here. Because I believe those are the AT guns anyway. And I hope at least it's his damage. I got, we, his damage is not that great from what we've seen. But damage is 60, right? 60. We mean right. Panzer 3N has the same damage as him. Like, that's kind of sad. Alright, like, that's really, really sad. Let's see, Panzer 4G 65. My god. <laughs> like, I was maybe expecting overly too much from these certain units. But nonetheless, I will first and foremost destroy specific spots that I believe that the enemy actually has uh, AT guns there. Uh, we have seen some enemy tanks somewhere, I believe, maybe here. I could go from to the left, completely to the left side, avoid the entire thing here and just charge towards these positions yes I can actually avoid completely the enemy but mm, I don't know guys I don't know maybe I should do that and screw this bullcrap and just you know do the good the bad and the ugly so what I'm gonna do get a few of these guys out of there and go to the left side and hopefully we will notice the enemy mines maybe 
or if hopefully there are no mines whatsoever because you can see the one artillery gun won't go to do shit for all of this stop because we have no idea if there are mines here yeah I'm gonna move my oh whoa, 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 what the hell is that okay I was afraid there was a red actually baton onto the left side and yeah there is absolutely nothing worth mentioning it would seem except a bunch of destroyed tanks which doesn't bode well okay I think yeah we can uh, comp let's see yeah we can get to this even position right let's see if I can reach this black well black border I can do something I can move in here avoid completely the enemy and that's gonna be sexy like a beast let's see can we yes we definitely can okay this is a good 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 stop because it, now I can move all my units to the left side completely avoiding the enemy in the entire freaking front line again this is definitely the best position to attack the enemy it would seem the right position is still very much defended I have no idea what the actual secret objective could be but doesn't really matter we'll just try to finish the mission with as many units still alive that's the thing we lost already one unit and that is the sniper sadly but you know stuff happens you can't really save every single unit of course everybody I, I mean if you want to do that you're gonna have to reload like a little bitch through the entire mission and of course that wouldn't be fun for anyone but again I do notice many people play like that and it's okay Manja, even I play sometimes like that, especially first person shooters. I save wherever I can reload when I don't like this wicker's nest. Okay, so yeah, avoid the front line as much as possible and get the main guns that I actually have. Let's get everyone out of there. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. It wasn't meant to be. It, wait, I can go a little bit here. Come on, let's avoid completely the enemy entrenchments go to the left now what could help them here if the actual theory can even manage to overreach these positions I uh, those two pounders or whatever those are um, the only thing that probably can help them is the scout of any of some kind like uh, the, the freaking airplane of theirs that would be a problem that could be a problem now Scott is almost invisible you can see he's blinking he is a ninja of this uh, of this thing he's a ninja of pure kindness he likes people so we're gonna try and avoid this position but there is an AT gun here I am certain in those uh, those kind of position it looks like the perfect position for the AT gun excellent Let's see, Panzer 3 and again, we're gonna try and avoid as much as possible this side where the bunkers are. But that doesn't mean that the enemy won't attack us at some point. Because at the end of the day, we are not cool as the British. We don't drink tea enough. Okay, let's get our repair trucks here. I could have maybe just taken like my blitz and, and repaired that way. But sometimes, I, again, I don't pause the game whenever you reload there's a pause of course but I don't pause the game because I, that's not how a demon goes that's not how I work the magic and it goes the 33 opening fire hopefully killing something okay look at that pencil 4G he's actually the best thing alongside the citadel that we have like that's ridiculous that's just ridiculous there you go we see thankfully why I, I, I run away immediately when I see this stuff but I'm afraid that they have a good positioning on us excellent damage uh, I told you these certain positions are definitely open for AT guns like they're exactly where they need to be now who exactly here is a bastard with a grenade that is the grenadier Excellent, completely destroy that son of a bitch. Uh, maybe destroy the bunker also, you know, because we are close to it, why not? Nuke the bunker. Nuke the freaking bunker. There are many wickers that we can actually see.
Yeah. Now, if I had a sniper, this would be much easier. But I screwed myself there, at least. Maybe the stock would be able to deal with this bullcrap. So let's see. Yeah, he's getting overly too close. I don't like getting my main battle tanks that close to the enemy lines. But, uh, of course, we have to pass through them to do something. Okay, opening fire immediately. Offensive 40 opening fire. Some units moving in our positions. Some riflemen from the Wickers. It would seem they have abandoned the Wicker gun. Yep. There you go. Mind you, this is the Reichstag 3. Not just anything, it's a Reichstag 3. It's an epic unit of massive proportions. There they go. Riflemen thinking they can do good for the king and the country, but the king is dead. They never knew that. They never knew that. Look at the freaking range. The ultimate siege machine. Well, I'm not using it for sieging at this point, imagine, but hell's bells. Hell's bells. Yeah, run a little bitches. Okay, now we're opening fire with everything, it would seem. Yeah. Now we're opening fire with everything. Look at these explosions. Wow, what the hell was that all about? Like a nuke went off there. Look at this, beautiful. This is something I like. The SIG-33 that is opening fire on a bunker, hopefully destroying him by some point. Yeah, we can see actually the damage taken by the bunker, not really much. Fire at the bunker. I want to destroy bunker. I want to destroy every possible bunker in front of us, to the side of us. They're gonna give at F even if not, they're gonna see us passing through these positions maybe. Maybe not, maybe they will. Oh crap. Run away. Run away. There they go. Enemy infantry. Enemy, well, inf yeah, infantry. Enemy tanks. Right in front of us. Never a good. Those are the M3 Grand. Oh my god, look at all those. Yeah! <laughs> We're giving home, bitches! You're getting... Oh, fuck. Oh, crap. Crap, they've seen us. They have seen the power of Blitzkrieg. Shit. Wow, we that dude just got owned that Panzer 4E. Just got opened. Okay, let's save here. We did a little bit. We did the massive actual damage upon the enemy locations, but the enemy just I didn't expect that to happen. That, that was M3 Grant, right? The same thing here. Wow, did you see the damage he did? I was thinking that was M3 Lee. Oh my god! So many stuff, so much evil. Oh boy. Yeah, why well, I may think this is the only way for me to overlook the enemy center position. Special fixed turret. Let's see. 75mm uh, AT gun, a 54 damage of epic proportions. And we are opening fire upon them. That's always a good thing. But still, oh my god, did you see that evil? Move into vicinity and heal people, people. Like get that blitz here near, of course, Hartman. He is the most important one. Okay, so there are some again six pounders here. But as soon as we kill off these bastards, they might run away toward. Well, they can't. Yeah, they can't because they have to go around to the openings that are here. So that means that they won't probably see the scout. But I wouldn't mind killing that son of a bitch with the Panzer four here. Yeah, look at the range of him. Look at that range, people. Look at that motherfucking range. Ridiculous. Let's open fire on him first and foremost. Those M3 Grants are definitely one of the strongest, it would seem. Yeah, they are the strongest. I was thinking that was M3 Lee's, to be honest. Maybe I'm wrong. I do understand. I do remember Tessa saying at some point, certain one of the LPs that I bid in 
for World War II games that these specific things were the best fucking thing in war. I mean, look at it, what they did to the freaking Air Pencil 4 E version. Just open him like nothing. Are we even damaging him? Let's see, the 91 of 180. 81. Your units are under attack. Okay, there goes... Was that a... Oh, was that, was that a Crusader? Or, oh, that was a Churchill! No, that was a Crusader. Uh, some one of these. Yeah, then, no, that was a Churchill. We just opened the Churchill's Your ass. Units are, under attack. are you honestly that... That, scr is that crazy? What the fuck were you thinking? Did you see? <laughs> I was. Th uh, that's why I don't like telling specific artillery units that can move to attack the target. Like, just target the certain areas or target by yourself without moving towards them. There you go, as you can see. Massive amount of tanks dead. We lost one. That's okay. I don't mind that. Losing one tank for all this bullshit, I'm happy. I'm just gonna do this all day long, guys. This is gonna be the entire actual video, just bombing them from afar. Because they can, and of course, I want to keep my guys alive as poss long as possible. And as we have the 263, and hopefully, 263 has a scout. Yes, he does have a scout, has a medic inside, has a sappers for in case of enemy emergencies. And you see, the problem here is I think someone is opening fire upon these uh, racks because they want to pass through it. So, yeah, he's actually quite smart, to be honest. You don't expect these things to happen because they're destroying the racks so they can move their uh, other forces through, right? Otherwise, they're just gonna get stuck, and this happens. They just get owned by a bunch of freaking things. So let's get a little bit closer and overlook the certain positions. Get okay, excellent. Uh, so let's get a Pencil 3 and a little bit close. Pencil 4 is are definitely our mainstay tanks here. Now, I'm not expecting a huge deal from them. We don't have to get the uh, this uh, this freaking 90 millimeter gun that close at the end of a day. But Pencil 4G is gonna stay to the right flank to defend that flank. Excellent, excellent. There's again Wicker's Nest getting owned completely as you can see yourselves. Yeah, sexy like a beast they say, but not really. I'm gonna get my stock a little bit closer because I wanna utilize him at some point. He's sex and he's a very unique unit. Uh, yeah, Pencil 4, mm, Citadel. Oh, I want to use him also. I mean, we used him in the last mission, but didn't really see the effect. This is much more personal combat if we get in the effect with the enemy, against the enemies, that is. Like this, yes. Like this, perfect. Okay, let's get our repair trucks behind them. If they try to fall back, they won't be able because of the repair truck. There goes the fat finding, but that's okay. After all, we just can hope that we can completely annihilate the enemy structures and, of course, the enemy tanks that come in. So, yeah, we can only push. No falling back. No retreat. No surrender, as they say in evil games of evil. Uh, it's gonna be kind of interesting. Okay, come on. 86 pound finally dies at some point. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Honestly, God, jeez. Well, uh, that's okay. I'm just gonna move in a little bit closer. Let's see the range. Well, we can move a little bit closer. There you go. Excellent. Perfect moment when I moved a little bit closer. <laughs> like a perfect moment. Oh, man. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Oh, mines. We can see mines. Finally, we can see mines. Bunch of mines. Thankfully, I brought the saboteurs. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, I see a bunch of mines. Holy shit. That's a lot of mines. Well, not really, but, you know, there are a bunch of mines. Mind you, this was probably the army that was here that we saw a bunch of tanks. So, if we have killed most of their defenders on this side, the left part is open. If I'm not mistaken, there were a bunch of tanks also here. We can see some evil German tanks destroyed there, though. Hmm. Is, uh, just imagine, they want me to go with the default set setup army of Panzer twos. Wow, just imagine that bullshit if you didn't really stop and think, okay, what do I need for all this bullcrap to happen? Uh, we can go easily through this. Uh, think with the tanks and avoid this bulk. I mean easily avoid these things. So that's not the issue here I'm just overlooking what I can with my scouts without really screwing myself up or losing the scout I don't want to lose any units at the moment until we are that close to the enemy lines This could be also a secret objective 
there is an empty Churchill there's a well this is actually a main uh, main area the main operational area for the evil Americana so maybe this is a true secret objective of killing every single bastard inside there could be interesting I will try it out to be honest I will actually try it out uh, so first and foremost the saboteurs can move in and start demining the mines as soon as possible let's get a little bit closer here excellent Time to do something. Okay, and first and foremost, get the 263 up close as, uh, as much as we can. At the end of the day, he is our eyes on the battlefield, and we have the saboteurs there. So, you know, things. Things happen, as they say. Things happen, and we need our things to happen. So that's why we're going to leave the medic inside, the saboteurs, sorry, the sappers outside to co collect all this bullcrap. First on the left side then rest I hear you. Uh, collect as much as you can my friend collect as much as you can okay excellent excellent we are moving in slowly but surely if we can avoid completely all this that would be perfect let's get to 263 okay excellent yeah that thing is full no not there over here that's mine thank you stay behind before we destroy the bunker we need complete destruction of the bunker no no not get close I was thinking of you turning thank you very much excellent that's pencil 4 e to this position okay pencil 3 and there let's avoid aggroing too many enemy tanks. This is not something I really want to happen. Uh, break that mine apart. Oh, you can't? Oh, okay. So I guess that we came to the part where we can't even move our soldiers there. Okay, that. so those mines we can avoid completely. Stug up close. Citadel up close. We need to break through these lines to get close with our sappers but barbed wire is there so that means we have to use one of these tanks a little bit up front so what Zig is gonna do here is break those bunkers apart as much as he can we could even use our 90 millimeter, maybe a 90 millimeter Italian SPG to break those things apart completely maybe no, you need to get very close, do you, don't you? I mean, he needs a perfect view towards that. He's he, yeah. We need our scout here. Now I know I'll have this scout here, but I'm util utilizing the 263 to the right for the right flank. But I'm afraid of these mines blowing the crap out of me. Okay. Open fire on the bunker. You have a perfect positioning towards. It. Okay, Panzer 4, move in. The problem is if they if they try from this position to come in with the, some tanks that are left, he will get owned. We have no sights towards these positions. So, mm, that would be a problem. Armor 8, free uh, room 5. So that means there are just a few guys, maybe two. I don't know how many bunkers actually have rooms inside of them. How many free rooms that is without any men inside? I have no idea. So, yeah, Panzer three N, get over here. Let's see, Panzer four E or Panzer three N. Which one was the like a better thing? Okay, better armor. Short gun on the Panzer three N. So Panzer three N is gonna be the one to move in gonna save before moving in of course with whatever we have let's get these guys over here we also have a bunch of sappers in this one and a bunch of sappers here could have also gotten some more snipers and stuff like that instead of the infantry riflemen that is regular riflemen just uh, I mean useless as a driver and as a crewman why not like waste those points at the very beginning for the specific things okay I'm gonna save here like a little bit because really reality was we did bunch of stuff we really did well so I'm gonna save here, and I wish you all the best. And next time, well, we'll maybe next time we might actually go over this line of chaos. <laughs>